Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It's been a week. I had a week off in Belize with the family, but it, it, it is super good uh, to be back. I didn't intend to be gone that long, and you know, I thought I was going to come back Friday. We came back Saturday, and then Sunday I had a disaster, uh, but we're back. We're going to get into Zhang and Parker. Uh, if I, I'm really intriguing. If I actually change my mind on after watching a bunch of Parker. If they've been to watching a bunch of Parker. Um, all right, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing, but, but we do. Uh, and uh, we were 3 0 again last week, you know, a short week because I was out of town. Uh, 3 0 last week. Uh, that makes us 14 and 3 over the last four weeks. 14 and 3. Uh, this is what we do. Uh, this is not an outlier or anything like that. The boxing bookie makes you money consistently every single week. Uh, and to show some support, join the Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description. You get the lock of the week. You can ask me anything. You can handicap a fight. You get a free t-shirt. There's a ton of perks that go along with it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the Patreon as well. Also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Okay. Let's get into... Uh, Zhang and Parker. Zhang is a problem. The Big Bang Zhang is a problem. 6'6", 280, right? He's not really all that slow, right? Like, he's not a speed demon. He's not a combination puncher, but he can put combinations together, and he's not as slow as, say, Joe Joyce, which is why he beat down Joe Joyce. Southpaw works behind the jab, wants to come forward, uh, Mixes up the body and head really, really well. He mixes up his combinations. Uses his He uses his slow feet pretty well. His feet are slow, but his footwork and his angles are pretty good. He can, he can stay in front of you, is what I'm trying to say. He's obviously strong as a Brahma bull. A lot of power. The left hand is special. The left hand is huge. Now, how, can he, you know, how does he land it? The straight left. That's his money punch. That's what he's looking to land. That's... That's his night-night punch. He's also very hittable, right? Like, as, as good as he is, he's also equally as flawed in that he doesn't move his head. He, he You know, he keeps his high guard, and, and he blocks shots. That's his defense. He eats a lot of shots. When he when he blocks, he doesn't really count. He, he waits for you to finish. There's... A lot of good and bad. Ultimately, the good is going to outweigh the bad in this fight. 6'6", 280, strong as a bull. He uses his jab. He marches forward. He marches forward, and he can break you down. And being able to break down Parker is huge. We saw that in the Joe Joyce fight. His power shots are accurate and clean. He, he throws really, really accurate, clean power shots. Left hand, uh, right hook. They're, they're clean. They're straight. He's good. You know, he, he, his technique, his fundamentals offensively are good. Defensively, he just high guard block shots. There's not much to it. But ultimately, what he does offensively, I think, is going to carry the day for him. Um, when you look at Joe Joyce, not Joe Joyce. Well, we're gonna get, I got a bunch of stuff in my notes about Joe Joyce. When you look at Joseph Parker, good jabber. He works behind the jab. He does some things well. Like, he got to a heavyweight title for a reason. He's good. He mixes up his combinations. He mixes up his cadence really good. He'll, he'll jab, 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 triple jab. And then, you know, the next time he comes in, he'll throw a hook to the, you know, he'll throw a lead hook. The lead left hook is really good. He loops the right hand, which we saw a lot of success in the Wilder fight, the looping right hand. So he scores with these shots, especially with a guy like Zhang. He's going to score. He's going to land with these shots because Zhang is there to be hit. You know, even the shots that don't land clean, they're going to land partially because, you know, Zhang doesn't move his head. He just bl blocks shots. What I don't like about him is he carries that lead hand really well. And we saw this in the Joyce fight. Now, he's tried to fix it since a little bit, but he still gets lazy defensively and sloppy and that the lead hand drops. And when it drops, that's why his face gets cut open like it did in the Joyce fight. It's because it's, it's, he's just going to get hit. Now, Zhang is a super version of Joyce. Zhang is similar to Joyce, but better. Bigger, stronger, faster, better combination puncher, better. And, and that's why Zhang stopped him. 
That's why I'm saying beat them down because they're similar fighters. And Joy, and I know a lot of times boxing math doesn't work like I'm laying it out. I understand. But Joyce is just not as good as Zhang. They're the symbol of fighters. And Zhang is just going to have more success. Zhang is just a super version of Joyce. And he's going to have more success. And he's going and he, and to beat Parker Dada. I think Parker fades in fights. We've seen this with Parker. You know, he likes to come forward. Like when he's doing what he did with Wilder, coming forward, he's having success. But when you break him down, like they say, uh, fatigue makes cowards of all men. When you start to slow Parker down, he's going to go backwards. And when he's going backwards, he's not good. He's not the same fighter. I want to see him throw the lead, let hook the right hand. I think he can be competitive in this fight. I think he can have moments. And I'm not really going to touch. I, I, I think Zhang stops him. But I'm going to stay away from that because Parker's chin is, is really good. I, I know he got stopped late in that Joyce fight, but he took such a beating in that fight. And then he'd gone the distance with Wilder. I know Wilder didn't hit it with him, but Parker's got a good chin. You know, Parker's not all that slow either. He's not that slow. He's a decent athlete for his size. Like I said, he mixes up his socks, his combinations, his cadences. He, he's good. He does a lot of things well. I just don't see with his flaws defensively, with his, you know, and, and how he gets broken down. I think he has gas tank issues as well. I, I see Zhang breaking him down. So let, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the odds and show you how we're gonna make money on this fight. Zhang is a minus 240. I'm really confident in this. I'm gonna make this a one and a half times bet. So a hundred and fifty dollar bet in this case would make us sixty two fifty. It's not bad. That's not bad. And then also Zhang by DQ. Uh, I'm sorry, Zhang by KO, TKO, or DQ. I'm gonna make half a bet. I'm pretty confident in this, but I I, I like the odds on it. And I'm I'm, I'm confident Zhang's gonna win the fight. I'm gonna make half a bet on that, and it pays pretty well. Forty one a fifty dollar bet pays. Forty-one sixty-six, so forty-one sixty-six and sixty-one. So the two hundred dollar bet is going to make us a little over a hundred bucks. That's uh, one hundred and two dollars, one hundred three dollars on, on a two hundred dollar bet. It's not bad. Uh, so we're going to take you know, on the money line one and a half, and then half a bet on Zang by KO TKO DQ. I, I, I'm confident. I, I think Zhang stops him. I do. But just in case he doesn't, we're going to make money on the money line and we're going to make money. We're going to make a little bit of money. Uh, a little bit of profit is better than, than no profit. It's certainly better than a loss. So we're going to make a little bit of profit on the KO, TKO, and we're going to make, uh, as well, we're going to make profit on Zhang winning. And Zhang on the money line, I think, is the safest bet. Zhang's going to win this fight. Uh, Joyce is, is kind of tailor made for him. Joyce, I keep doing that. Parker is kind of tailor made for him in, in the same way that he was tailor made for Joyce. So we're going to go with Zhang. One and a half, money line, minus 240. Zhang, half a bet by stoppage, uh, minus 120. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. There's always a bull market somewhere, and we are consistently making money. 14 and 3 the last uh, four weeks. No one else has a track record like that. No one else can. I mean, this is established that I'm the best in the world at this. I, I am. Uh, show some support. Join the Patreon. We're going to make money every week with the Patreon. The link is in the description. You get the free T-shirt. You get the lock of the week. You can ask me any, ask me handicap any fight you want. I'll show you how to make money on that fight as well. Uh, we're doing this every single week, making you money. Uh, please uh, subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 4th. It's March already. 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.